So welcome back to the channel. I am at Dennis Dillon GMC here in Boise, Idaho. And they did allow me to do this video on this beautiful GMC Sierra. Uh, special shout out to them. I will put their information here in the video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is going to be an elevation, so it does have a really sporty appearance. I will show you guys the window sticker for this. But this did get an updated fascia for 2022. And I got to tell you, I think I like this a lot better than the Silverado. You're going to have full LED headlights with a LED daytime running light. And check out your fog lights. A lot of manufacturers have been doing a better job with designing these to really make them fit well with the front end. You do have some tow hooks up front. And this one does have a camera, so it's gonna have that 360 camera view, and it has a washer too on the side there. We have, it has the blacked out emblems. It looks really, really aggressive. Just really quick, I have one of the sales people here too. Give My name's shot. Jesse Quattrone, over here at Dennis Dillon GMC. Come on down, guys. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, come check these guys out. Really nice bunch too. And as you guys see here, you have like a little slot here. It doesn't look like it has any air that comes, goes through there, but nice little design cube. And this does have the blacked out 20 inch wheels too. And everything does work really well. You can look the mirrors and check out that little black trunk piece on that too. And this does have the fixed running boards down below. And if you don't know, they do have an independent front suspension for all GM trucks. And this one does have a Goodyear Wrangler tire too. And let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these design wheels too. They look really aggressive. Black trunk piece for the fender flare. And they do have some accent lights too, right up front on that mirror. And I like that this one doesn't have like a lot of chrome on it too. It has that really sporty look. And this one does have a smart key on the front door, but it does not have it on the rear door. And if you're not familiar with GM trucks too, they do have a 24 gallon fuel tank. You are going to have a lease spring set up out back too. And you guys can see those Rancho shocks also. So this is going to have that X31 package on it. So this is basically like an off-road setup here. And something I like that GM does too is they do accent those tailpipes too. They look really aggressive. I really do like the black on chrome too. I, I don't normally see this. It's normally all blacked out. I like what they did here too. Now if you want to check out the tailgate it just does have that transformer and it does act as a step too they do provide a handle on the side and spray and bed liner all the good stuff here now on the back of the tailgate you do have a backup camera as you would expect and the light for your conventional hitch this is going to be a class 4 2 inch opening and I believe this one has a 323 rear axle too. And this does have the camera inputs for your trailer, seven pin connector down below. It's a really, really aggressive truck. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. So this elevation does have the 5.3 liter V8. It is going to be good for 355 horsepower, 383 pound feet of torque. For this refresh, they did put a 10 speed behind all of the V8. So now every V8 has the 10 speed transmission. They did co-develop this with Ford and it has smooth shifts. And I have actually towed with this truck a couple times and I found that it has really good power delivery in each gear. Now, as far as the interior goes, this is where the big news is with the newer GM trucks. Like, I've showed it to you a few times on the Silverado, but it just keeps getting better. Even on the GMC side of things, it's pretty much the same. Um, you have these large screens, 13 plus inch screen here, 12.3 inch screen here. And let's go ahead and start it off. It is super hot out here today too, guys. So check this out, all digital, has a great appearance to it. Some of my favorite things about this screen here is that you can really control this and fine tune it for your purposes. So if you go to the settings here, uh, you can really change the layout. It looks really cool. And then you do have some you know, indicators outside of the screen too. I like that they give you the paddle shifters too, telescoping steering wheel, 
And then here's some of your controls for your full wheel drive. It does have that automatic tow haul mode right down here. And then you do have some driving modes too. You have that sport, off-road, and then you just have your normal. Check out your steering wheel controls there. So this does have an electronic parking brake too. And then check this big boy out. This thing is huge. Stay in demo mode. But the, the biggest thing here is the Google Maps. This is something that's pretty new for GM. And this is very clear too. I'm gonna put it here in reverse. Love the layout of this too. They have some of the best cameras in the game. They have one for that conventional hitch. And you can push it to put it back in park. I haven't really seen this set up here, so this is really nice too. Like the wood trim piece. You have your trailer brake here, dual climate control. Everything's just laid out well. I mean, the USBs are right here on the side. And um, just below the screen, you do have that lane departure warnings there and your parking assist your auto stop start you can drop the tailgate and i like that they you know put your storage above here under this really nice cover and you do have two additional usbs and the actual power plug i like where they put this at this is a good area for that and you have that wireless charger for your phone and then not much else has changed on the glove box. These glove boxes are pretty much the same size there. This one was equipped with a sunroof too. And just does have the LED lights throughout the interior. And then check out the rear. You do have some air vents and USBs down below. 6040 bench with some storage just below the seat. I like that they give you a flat floor surface too back here. This is a really big back seat. And you do have that storage in the back seat. So this is the window sticker for the Sierra I just reviewed. And if you don't know, the SLE slots below the elevation and the SLT slots above the elevation. And here are the interior and exterior colors right here. And let's take a quick look at some of the standard equipment right here. Be sure to pause it, I'm not gonna go through everything. But as you guys can see, the base price for this Sierra was $54,200. And here's some of the options. Now the first one is the most expensive one on this uh, Sierra Elevation and it's the Elevation Premium Package at $4,260 and then here's everything that's going to be inside that package now something to note here is the 5.3 liter is an option for the Elevation so you will get a 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine standard but if you would like to get the V8 it is $1,595 it does have the dynamic fuel management deleted and that's going to really help for reliability and the next option here is the three-year OnStar and connected services for $1,500 and then this is everything that's available in that plan. $1,175 is the Elevation Black Package and then X31 Off-Road Package was $1,090. Now the power sunroof was $995 with the front bucket seats with uh, the center console is $545 and then they did delete some things off of this truck. And all in, this truck does have $11,000 worth of options on it. Destination came in at $17.95, and this truck has a total price of $66,305. And if you are interested, here are some of the fuel economy numbers for this particular uh, Sierra. Alright, so here are the numbers for the gross axle weight rating up front, which is going to be 3,800 pounds. Also, take note of the tire sizes and the wheel sizes. These are 20 by 9 inch wheels. Alright, so here's the trailer information for this particular truck. So the gross fuel weight rating is going to be 7,100 pounds. The gross combined weight rating, which is truck and trailer combined, is 15,000. The rear gross axle weight rating is going to be the same as the front at 3,800 pounds. And the truck, as it sits on a curb, is 5,000. 429 pounds with a total payload of 1,671 pounds, which is actually pretty good for this type of truck. Finishing off the list, you have conventional towing at 9,200 pounds with a max tongue weight of 920 pounds. Gooseneck is 8,200 pounds with a max tongue weight of 1,230 pounds. This truck does have a really good payload capacity, so you pretty much can get pretty close to that. 9,000 pounds uh, for the most part it just depends on how, how many people you're taking with you how much gear you're gonna have in your truck so I would probably max out around eight to nine thousand pounds for the most part but 
I hope this video was helpful. Special shout out to Dennis Dillon in Boise, Idaho. Be sure to ask for Jesse if you are in the market. His information is below here. And I will see you guys soon.